Good morning, nobody, apart from anyone who's watching the video afterwards. Oh gosh, just remembered I didn't upload yesterday's, no, I did upload yesterday's to YouTube. I didn't send the link out. Um, cool. Today, we are continuing to look at the incremental releases of the Gutenberg plugin for the block editor in WordPress and work through the features. As usual, we will be using this little test site that's running pretty much out of the box WordPress 5.4, but with the, um, let's just do that and that. Um, WordPress 5.4 out of the box, but with the Gutenberg plugin uh, so that we can see what's new. We're using WP Tavern posts which are excellent overview summaries of the different Gutenberg versions so we're up to 7.8 previous videos covered uh, 7, 5, 7, 6, 7, 7. so if you're interested in progress of the Gutenberg plugin and features within the block editor in WordPress uh, there are videos for each of those I should try and like promote my my own videos and things at the end of this, I suppose, so that you can go and find more if this is of interest, which it surely is not, but it's really good for me to step through this anyway. We're using WP Tavern post and we're using the release notes from uh, the Gutenberg plugin itself, which are at github.com slash WordPress slash Gutenberg slash releases slash tag slash and the version number with three digits. So we're going to start today. Let's start by actually going and uploading or upgrading the plugin. Ah, you need to. Dun, 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 dun. That'd be good. So we're following the tavern. <laughs> oh, gosh. You have to remember so much when you're streaming and you're trying to speak and do things. Uh, we're using. Uh, the GitHub uh, release notes page. We're on version 7.8. Here's the site, the test site we're looking at. And we're going to upgrade first. So my sound's on, isn't it? Yes, my sound meter is bouncing up and down. So that's a good thing. Um, so we're going to use WordPress command line as always. Plugin, update, Gutenberg. Uh, I do assume that you have seen a command line or are at least aware of the command line and the fact that there is a WordPress tool where you can type stuff into a command line or terminal like this. Uh, this lets you manage your WordPress installation and do all sorts of fun things. In this case, I am updating, oops, updating a plugin called Gutenberg to version 7.8, so not the latest version. That should work. Installing Gutenberg 7.8. There it goes. Super smashing great. And huzzah, if we go into plugins here, sometimes there's a minor update to do. I'm a bit nervous about doing that from the command line. No, it's only suggesting I go straight to version 8.4, which I don't want to do because I want to explore what's in version 7.8. So let's look at the GitHub release notes first. No, let's not. Let's look at the tavern because they'll give a summary. They're improving the editor with refreshed interface work. The most useful feature is the inclusion of the patterns API for plugin and theme developers. So that's behind the scenes features that let uh, developers create uh, what are called black block patterns, which are um, like preset groups of blocks that I think your theme basically declares. So this. API or application programming interface is the uh, set of commands effectively that your theme or your plugin can use to add patterns and make them available to users. This release is not the massive feature release that we've experienced with some earlier versions. Okay, lots of bug fixes. Uh, editing a post permalink without requiring a save should work correctly. Oh. It's been outstanding for over a year. Interesting. And we can select multiple categories for the latest post block. 
these worth exploring? Let's go have a quick look. So let's go add a post. This is a version, what was it? 7.8 post. Now then, so there was some, we could edit the permalink without saving, was that right? Hey, look, you're all slug. This used to be up here when you're editing the title. Still think it's a bit hidden away over here, but you know, that's okay. You can read about permalinks, you can view the post, and it's actually set it. That's interesting that it's not set it to a numerical slug. I think that's a bug because if I go to settings, and I should point out that these are like development versions of Gutenberg, they're not ready for release as such. So there's lots of incremental improvements being made all the time. Oh no, I'm set to day and name. I thought I had uh, this set, but no. Okay, so that is correct. That's cool, so we can do that. Uh, where were we? Let's close that, otherwise I'll get confused. So we can edit a post permanent without requiring a save. We can select multiple categories for the latest post block. I don't have multiple categories, so let's go create some. Oops. Um, hmm. Horses. Caterpillars, flowers, sunsets, Marvel films. That'll do. We have some categories. Don't have posts from those categories, but you know, I want to see the selector, not test the actual full function of the thing. So, late. Ooh, hello. Why is that tucked up under there? Something went weird. Oh, little layout bug there. Uh, latest posts. And sorting and filtering by categories. So I want horses and caterpillars. Number of items. That's weird. Oh, you can go lower than five. Cool, so that works. I don't have any posts in those categories. Great, that's good. Good to know the latest posts block is being improved and the experimental foresight editing feature now supports full screen mode. Hmm, that's probably a good thing. Massive refresh of the user interface was in the oh, 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 bit of jelleriness in the stream. Uh, we so last version had a massive refresh. I'm massive, it wasn't massive. Uh, but they continue building upon that initial work. They fine-tuned icons. Dun, dun, dun. One of the most notable differences in an update to the user-facing text for the post preview button. In the, what? The post preview button. Is that? Oh, okay. So I'd noticed that you could have this desktop tablet mobile view I hadn't realized that was the post preview button before so I guess that has been improved in previous version there was a button that simply read desktop once clicked it would open a drop down list to preview in desktop tablet or mobile mode so that is this button and it's kind of uh, nice that it lets you go and preview in a tablet or mobile format still losing that title <laughs> Where's that go? Do we see it all in? No, if you even got chopped on the tablet there. I hope that gets fixed in a future version. I'm sure it will. Um, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that button's text now reads preview. So that's just like a microcopy update, but a useful one at that. Overall, the polishing work on the editor looks good. He's excited about block patterns and is even more excited about the ability for plugin and theme authors to be, 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 be. Let's try that again. Plugin and theme authors to begin testing this feature by building custom patterns of their own. 
there will be an explosion of creativity over the next several months and beyond. Um, that's great. Um, but I think like with blocks, I'm not entirely sure that an explosion of creativity is necessarily a good thing because it does make things really confusing for end users who will, as well as now a proliferation of blocks, presumably now have a proliferation of block patterns that they can choose from and be overwhelmed by. So I'm sure it will. I hope this is in some way like tempered and controlled somehow. Um, so yeah, block patterns good. Will we see an explosion of creativity? Hopefully, but yeah, I'm not quite sure if that's a good thing or not because with blocks, I don't think that's quite worked out. Um, oh, there's a viewer. Hello viewer, good morning. Have a sip of coffee. And uh, welcome you, say hi in the chat if you would like to, because that's what people do on live streams, I think. Don't know. Um, we're looking at uh, Gutenberg version 7.8 this morning. Uh, there's been some incremental UI things, like some minor changes to latest posts, and this little drop down here has been improved. Um, but like tiny things so far, and we're now looking through block patterns. Uh, which, if you don't know, are groups, like preset groups of blocks. And there's a discussion on the tavern about um, about what they are, what the future of block patterns might be, because there is now an API for um, developers to register their own block patterns from presumably themes or plugins. Um, so you register HTML for one or more blocks. Plugin the theme authors can further define settings for those blocks. Interesting. Excuse me. Great. So it's just a register pattern function, uh, which is linked. That's a link to the pull request. Uh, here's a simple hero pattern. I'm not going to dive into patterns because I'm not really doing this from a developer point of view, other than I'm looking at what are the new functions that are in these versions of WordPress. Um, but I'm not diving into any code or anything, just noting that they are there. Um, and that's all the tavern says. So 7, 8 enhancements. Let's just have a quick look through these, see if I missed anything. Adds always on display of media URL. Hmm, not worth testing. Adds current menu class to navigation block. So a lot of these are just minor sort of behind the scenes things. Outline when interacting with toolbar block type slash moves. I'd read something about drag and drop improving. So let's make some columns. The columns block has just vastly improved um, with some of these Gutenberg releases. So let's do 70, 30. And then can we drag our... Oh, how do we drag? There's a handle somewhere. Oh, was it gone? Oh, come on. Ah, we, can I just grab? All oh, right, okay. Well, that's not clear. Hopefully that'll improve. One of the things I'm saying is there are lots of, you know, this is a development version and it's still being incrementally improved over time. So um, hopefully these things get picked up and fixed. And it's kind of nice doing it because I'm doing this day by day. I'm seeing development in fast forward. I'm seeing two, two weeks of development each day, which is kind of fun. But that's a bit... I was looking for that handle that used to be there to move and drag it. And the handle has the move, but it doesn't have the drag. I'm reliant on the cursor on hover there to drag that. And not even that works. There we go. That's better than it used to be. That's actually quite improved. Um, let's add a paragraph about columns. Interesting that latest post has a white background. And I can't control the background color, can I? No, I don't think I can. Maybe it doesn't actually have a white background when you view it. And okay, interesting here. How do I, is that going to add to the column? How do I add a block into this column? Yeah, that is how to do it. Can I add a block to that column? Yes. So where do I now go to add? Oh, I just click beneath. Okay, that is all kind of intuitive. But one of my issues with um, Gutenberg has always been all this pop up UI that appears and disappears, seemingly kind of at random. See, now I can't add 
underneath this column. Ooh, buggy, buggy, buggy. What happens if I do that? Oh, I had no idea where I was going to put that block. Can I just type? This is another paragraph. All it was doing was um, testing drag and drop. Ooh. Oh. So that works and has a nice little animation effect. Can I drag, drag that within the column? Yes. No. Sort of. Oh, it, uh, <laughs> no, I'm really confused. So this still needs work. I can't seem to drag it to the bottom of the column. But maybe I can drag this one to the top of the column. This is difficult user interface to, to build, isn't it? I mean, though I'm being slightly critical, I'm in awe that people can build this stuff in JavaScript and React. So it's quite impressive. So there is some drag and drop improvements. Um, I think there, create block, improve how prompts and values provided are handled. This is all minor stuff, isn't it? Polish some icons, date picker, improve permalink editing. Uh, we looked at that earlier. You missed that if you're viewing. Nicer block footprint for social links. Nicer block footprint. Okay, so that's for the social or social links block. This terminology is quite interesting. Footprint. I don't know what a block footprint is. Uh, we haven't looked at the social links block previously, but I can't add it there, can I? There's a social icons block. I assume it's this. I don't know what the footprint of this is. But um, yeah, you can just click these little icons and link them. There's not many options for it, really. You can change labels. Hmm. But yeah, don't know what the footprint is. Uh, <laughs> show inserter only when block selected for nesting context. I think that was the thing I was struggling with just now, where the plus to insert a new block um, isn't still, in my mind, appearing in the right places. Uh, use test data from web platform test. Oh, I don't know what that is. Behind More behind the scenes stuff. Adds multi-select -select categories on latest posts. That's, that should be the top. That's like one of the biggest changes that they've made here. <laughs> and add basic nav block example for insert and style previews. That's all cool. Uh, bug fixes, APIs, experiments. There's some more site editor stuff, including full screen mode. Um, just looking through here. Yeah, that's all behind the, behind the scenes stuff. I won't dive into... Well, let's just have a really quick look at... Uh, full site editing today. So that's the Gutenberg plugin puts this Gutenberg menu. Let's just save that as draft. Gutenberg plugin puts a Gutenberg menu here. And um, there's a site editor option in there. So this is the beta full site editing experience. And all they're saying is this is now full screen. Huzzah. And yeah, is there anything, the thing that's really bugging me is this interface here where you go new. You've got to manually know what the, the template slug is and type it in. Um, but yeah, that looks like a full screen editing experience. Now, I'm intrigued. If I click this, where does it take me to? Back to the dashboard. So that's interesting because the pattern of that with editing a post is if I click on, I've got full screen editor disabled. Oh, it's interesting that that setting doesn't carry across to full site editing. So if I put full screen mode on, this will then take me back to the post list screen. So they need to figure out how to make this work consistently because in some cases it takes you one place, in some cases it takes you another place. And full screen mode is uh, also not consistently applied. But these are like tiny minor things. This site editing is going to be huge for WordPress in future, and I don't know what it means for like my career even. I can turn that off. Okay, great. So this is very, very early stuff, this full site editing. Um, that's all that's in 7.8 by the looks of things. So that's all good. Um, next time, just have a quick sneak peek of 7.9, which I guess I'll look at 
tomorrow if I have time. What have we got? Some fancy gradient support. <laughs> That'll be fun. Um, line height support to paragraph block. Oh, that's another thing where like that should be set by the theme, not by the individual editor writing a post. So useful for, I was going to say that's useful for full site editing possibly. No, it's not. Add font size support to the heading block. Add line height support to the heading block. This is, in my mind, I mean, these are interesting things, but they're just giving too much control to, to post authors. This is what your theme should do. So hopefully there's also ways for themes to disable or control this in some kind of way, a bit like they do with color palettes. Um, add custom height unit support to the cover block. Custom height unit. Um, I don't know what that is. Does that let you specify the height in rems or ems or other types of unit rather than just pixels possibly? Who knows, we will see. There's some, oh, some new patterns coming. Keyboard shortcuts. Set post title instead of URL when adding a link to an existing post. Set post title instead of URL. Oh, okay, we'll play with that next time. More updates to social link block. Lots and lots of minor minor changes to work through next time. Let's see if the tavern agrees. Seven, nine, adds gradients to blocks, typography controls and new patterns. So if that's the, the tavern summary, then we're gonna have a very boring um, stream tomorrow exploring a ton of minor little details. What's the next big thing that's coming, I wonder? Gutenberg 8 merges block and pattern inserter. Is that currently the um, the pattern inserter at least is like a sidebar plugin I understand so it's like a separate component so maybe that's being merged in adds inline formats and updates code editor uh, inline format sounds like it might be interesting so 7, 9 tomorrow or whenever I get around to it might be a bit dull and just exploring lots of minor changes whereas 8 looks like it might be something more substantial to dig into um, awesome uh, looks like there are two people watching so hello uh, thanks for joining me. We're just at the end. This will be ending soon. Um, thanks for coming along. Thanks for following and uh, exploring Gutenberg with me. If ever you want to, I've got this chat and no one ever says anything. So I don't know if it's up to date or if I need to somehow be in Twitch or something instead of Streamlabs. Who knows? But if ever you want to ask a question or want me to go and poke a particular feature of Gutenberg, let me know. I've got this test site. I can go and um, go and try out specific things. Or if you know something about Gutenberg that I don't as we go along, um, do say hello. Type in the chat. I'm a friendly kind of chap, I like to think. Um, so, yeah. Thanks. I'm off to get on with my work. This will be up on YouTube later. I have to do all the... I'm not going to ask you to follow and subscribe, but... If these things are interesting, then by all means do that. Uh, I'm on Twitch at slash the underscore magic roundabout. Uh, I'm on Twitter as magic roundabout without the, the underscore in front. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then you know where I am on YouTube. So that's all the places I am. Uh, thank you very much. Have a great day. And there'll be more, if not tomorrow, then later in the week. Bye.